Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to continue to test this robotic actuator. I built this robotic actuator a couple of weeks ago and the last week I already started to test it and uh, we saw that the torque is uh, not as high as I was expecting. And uh, I think that the problem is in this power supply because this power supply is not powerful enough for this motor. Many of you suggested in your comments that uh, the problem is not in power supply and the problem is in this motor. So we'll see today if with a higher power supply we can get something uh, better torque or if it's gonna stay the same. Also in your comments uh, you suggested to add the cooling for the motor and cooling for this O-Drive uh, controller. So that's why I 3D printed these two pieces. This piece goes on top of the motor. I know that this piece is ugly, but this is just a temporary solution. And uh, here I will mount this ventilator. And this piece goes on top of the pod drive. And here I have two holes for two other ventilators. So let's assemble all of this. So this piece should be installed instead of this plate. Now I need to pre-calibrate the motor again. So I will do this with Raspberry Pi as the last time. As you saw, the calibration did not work well, and uh, I saw in the forums that apparently people are saying that it's uh, better not to do the index calibration, so I decided to, to do the simple calibration, it means just a full calibration. I think it does not make index calibration, it only makes offset calibration. I also dismounted this arm just for test to keep it safe like this it does not rotate like crazy uh, all around and i also connected all the ventilators let's see how it works okay let's connect or drive immediately we hear a crazy noise of uh, this uh, ventilator I think this one is so loud that we don't hear these two. I can now launch the Odra 2. Now I can set the proper number of the poles. And now I can do the full calibration. This is calibration of the motor. This is calibration of the encoder. It rotates in one direction to another direction. So this is basically offset calibration. And now, uh, theoretically, it's calibrated, so I can do the closed loop control, and it should hold. Yep, 
yes it does work quite strong this is cool position set point 10,000 it rotates goes back it does not overshoot this is nice okay I can hardly rotate it, it holds pretty well. Let's increase the current limit. Let's put 20 amps instead of 10. Ooh, for me it looks like it holds better. Let's put 40 amp. Okay, let's put back 10 up. Let's install the arm. And let's attach our 1.5 kilo. So this is 1.5 kilo. 10 amp does not hold. 20 amp. Does hold. Set point zero, set point uh, thousand. Doesn't really rotate. Set point ten thousand. It holds, but it doesn't rotate. Set point zero. Okay. Now current limit forty. It holds set point one thousand set point zero set point one thousand set point zero it does work so with this calibration uh, it can uh, handle one point five kilograms now I have two point five kilogram of load so I have one kilo of the potato, half kilo of the rice and one kilo of the Swiss sugar. So let's see if it can handle 2.5 kg. Ok, let's launch our drive tool, check the voltage, uh, 21 pole pairs, full calibration sequence. The closed loop control. So let's put the current limit to the 20 amps. I think it holds a little bit better. Let's put the current limit at the 40 amps. Let's see if this can handle 2.5 kilograms. No, it doesn't hold. No, it doesn't hold. Okay, let's put the maximum current. 50 amp. No, it can't have hold it. Sorry, no. No, 2.5 kilograms is too much. So we take out half kilo of the rice. So it's 2 kilograms of load. Still 50 amp. Ah, it holds a little bit. No, oh, it doesn't gonna work. No, it doesn't hold. No. Now I will try to power it uh, up the Arduino using these two LiPo batteries and this cable. So now let's try to power up with the batteries.
first of all, I need to switch on the ventilators. Ventilators is on and now I can connect batteries. Okay, but batteries are on. Now Odrite tool, VBUS voltage, number of poles 21, full calibration sequence, full boot control, set point uh, 11,000. Okay, looks fine. Now the current limit. Current limit 20 amps. Pulse current limit 40 amps. So I have the payload of 2 kilograms. And it holds. It holds this payload. So set point to 12,000. Ah, very difficult, but it still works. Set point 11,000. Okay, current limit. Current limit 50,000. Okay, set point 12,000. Set point 11,000. Ah, now this is bad. Now I would like to reinstall the actuator on the side of the table. Like this, I can use the scale to measure the torque. Why I wanted to use the scale? Because uh, the creator of, of the O drive driver, he already tested this kind of motors uh, some time ago, and uh, for this he used the scale to test the static torque of this motor, and he found out that uh, the maximum torque from this kind of motors it's uh, very close. Uh, to the maximum theoretical torque. That's why I expect that it should work uh, with a decent torque. Okay, now I need to switch on a drive. So this is a powerful ventilator. The batteries. Battery one. Battery 2. Connect or drive tool. Set number of poles uh, 21. Full calibration sequence. Closed loop control 12,000. Looks fine. Now move this. Okay, set point 10,000. The scale shows uh, 1.3 kg, set point 9, thousand, still ok, so set point 12, set point 11, ah, set point 11,000, yes, uh, set point 12,000, go up, cool, ok, now the current limit, current limit 20 amp, Set point eleven thousand. Set point twelve thousand. Current limit forty amps. Set point uh, eleven thousand. Set point. 10,000 around 3 kilos set point 12,000 voltage is uh, 24.6 so still good voltage so the battery is not drained yet the battery are cool uh, motor looks cool so now the current limit uh, 50 amp, set point 11,000. Set point 10,000. 10,000. 
so still uh, around 3 kilos set point 12,000 let's try like this the current limit is still 50 amps set point 11,000 Set point ten thousand. Yeah, two point seven kilogram. Set point uh, twelve thousand. Come back. So today we saw that uh, this controller or drive controller we should use uh, with offset calibration and not with the index calibration because with offset calibration we had fifty percent higher torque. And also today, in order to increase the power, instead of using a traditional power supply, we used a lipo batteries. And these lipo batteries, they can provide up to 70 amps, which is uh, more than enough for this motor. The maximum current for this motor is 50 amps. And uh, using these batteries, we were able to increase the torque a little bit higher. And uh, the maximum torque which we get is around 2 kg. This corresponds to the torque of 0.68 kg per meter. And also we measured this torque using the scale and uh, with this uh, we had a maximum of uh, 3 kg at this uh, lever. It means that the maximum torque was 1 kg per meter. I still want to increase this torque because my goal is to have the torque of at least 1.5 kg per meter. So next time I would like to test the motor alone and see the torque from this motor alone. And afterwards, I will change the design of my reducer in order to have the torque 1.5 meters at the output. I would like to say a huge thank you to my patrons. Here their names. Thanks to them, I was able to build this project, and thanks to them, I will continue with this project. If you would like to support my channel, please consider to support me on my Patreon page or via PayPal. All the links in the description. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you next time.